What's up everybody, welcome back to Double T Gaming, and today I'm going to show you the fastest way to get to 99 overall in NBA 2K16 My Player Mode. Now before we start, this isn't a glitch, this isn't like, disconnect your internet, create a custom player, do all that, this is no none of that. This is legitimately the fastest way, fastest method to get to 99 overall in this mode. It takes a lot of work, it's, it's, it's a grind, that's what it is. But... Before we do this, just a little disclaimer, do not do not try and go for a 99 overall if you don't have the badges you want yet. Because if you do this, it'll ruin all your stats, it'll ruin any, ruin any progress you have towards any badges. Just get the badges you want first, and then go into this. Because this is, it. it's going to ruin everything. Just be sure you're, you're where you are in your career in this game, that you want to actually go online and be good. Because if you're a 99 overall, and you don't have any badges, then... You're gonna you're gonna be a 99, but you're gonna play like an 80. Badges are very important in this game. They're kind of a lot of people underrate them, but if you have the badge, like my point guard probably has every badge you need as a point guard, and he, he balls out, ball out, ball out. But anyway, so we all know that five live practices gets you an attribute point. So the key is to get five live practices. So we all know. Also, I say we all know a lot because we all know. But what you gotta do is just foul out of every single game. Just as soon as the game starts, just like this, about to foul, first foul, right there. Just foul out of every single game. That's basically it. But also, you want to look for weeks in the season that have the most off days you could possibly get. I'll show you that in a second after I finish fouling out. But, for example, if you look at the All-Star Weekend, you get, it's probably like five off days in a row. Not in a row, but like five off days when only like two games played. If that, if you don't participate in any off, uh, all-star like festivities or whatever you just want to find day find weeks that give you the most amount of off days for example right here okay I have an off day right now if I play if I play a game against Memphis I don't know what I'm doing I recorded this yesterday I recorded this yesterday. this is so awkward this is awkward scroll over scroll over see look three back three back-to-back -back off days there's four off days in this week and I'd only have to play one game against San Antonio to foul out these are the weeks you want to look for. You just gotta look for these type of weeks. And if and this week right here, three off days in four games, I don't know if it's worth it. I don't know if it's worth it. But this back to back off day, that's worth it. You gotta find the back to back or three in a row off days. It's it's that easy. I know people are trying to like probably click on this video looking for oh he's got a really nice method. It's not a nice method, it's like everything else. It's their standard fouling out, but just maximizing the amount of time that they're minimizing the amount of time it takes to actually get a 99 just find the weeks that don't take that long just, fi just find the most off days look, if you, yeah look at the all-star weekend there's one two three and then four five off days and with one game played against charlotte that's it's basically it that's what you gotta do it's it's not that hard it just takes a lot of time see this guy's 99 overall 40 badges and it probably took me a good like eight hours of just sitting there and grinding this. But I was also doing connections at the same time, getting the Jordan my court. So it kind of took away from some off days. But that's basically it, guys. You just got to find the right weeks and just grind, run real hard one day, and you'll be 99 overall. Thank you guys for watching this Double T Gaming. See you guys in the next video.